What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This your boy Cutie Content Guy, and I am back for a brand new review. Real Housewives of Patanka, Season 8, Episode 6, Tequila, Tears, in Texas. Um, they nasty. The women in this show is nasty. Nasty. Anyway, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend who also know another friend, and then they know that one friend who likes to get into some math, read the girls, have a good time, and laugh. Now, let me pull up my notes, because y'all know I ain't never ready with my notes just sitting up, and uh, we get started. So, the show picks back up, child, where we left off with Wendy. Wendy and Neck are going back and forth about the sister and the cousin-in-law. Wendy is lying. At the end of the day, Wendy is lying. Wendy, you a liar, world. You's a liar. Um, she said she was friends. She got a little hat thing, but she said, you know, let's be quite honest. Giselle got one also. And then Neka says something, and Wendy was like, um, like you were when you were LA, when you were at where you like you were when you were in L.A. smoking crack. And then she did this. Just, I'm, just really, I'm just really, really tired of Wendy. I'm just really tired of Wendy. Mama, you're not eating. The reeds are not working. It, they're not eating. You threw your hands up like, oh, girl, I got that one. She's no come back from that one. I got that one. I ate her up. But, Mama, you didn't eat her up. Mama, I mean, you look like a fool. Oh, Wendy. Oh, Wendy. <laughs> oh, well, all you can do is laugh. Wendy, you look like a fool. Girl, t put your hands down. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. So then um, in a confessional, they ask her, well, do you have the receipts? And she says, well, what receipts? If it quack like a duck, then it's a duck. Then it's crack. So the ladies get up and they start dancing. Girl, they show me a big old feet. And then um, as Candace is over there talking to NECA, Wendy goes over to her, to her and says, don't talk for me. And... Wendy, you're clearly bothered by this girl. I don't give a damn about this storyline, but you're clearly bothered by this girl. Um, and you know her. Y'all know each other. So, you know, it is what it is. Y'all both getting on my damn nerves. So the ladies all go out to eat. Uh, they all go out to dinner. You know, first of all, they are really trying to build up this big Candace fight and actually fight along with Robin sitting on the curb. So I guess we'll get that next week. I'm ready for them to get out of Texas because they're not bringing nothing to Texas and Texas ain't bringing nothing to them. Maybe the girls ain't got no money. So they're all out to dinner and they get in there, um, food and stuff like this. And somehow they get to asking that, you know, sometimes they, somehow they start talking or whatever. And, um, Wendy says, well, who at the table swallows? <sighs> so Robin raises her hand. It says she swallows. Robin, you swallowing still and keeping one at home. Mm, that's a shame. You letting all that slide down your throat and you still ain't keeping one at home. How sad. So, um, Jow and Kiko Karen and giving the headlines wouldn't be swallowing it, girl. You don't know what you were drinking. Duh. <laughs> Call up the clinic because Robin on her way. So, um, they talk about catching it and spitting it out and. And the girls are like, well, you know, you do these kind of things, or I don't know. Giselle don't answer. She said, honey, I'm not getting into that. Karen say, girl, that's none of y'all business. Um, and then, 
and then, and then, and then. Candace gets her ass up there and says, I'd rather be peed on than to swallow. Candace says, I'd rather be peed on than to swallow. And now, mind you, as the girls are talking about swallowing, this is her face she's making. You got the audacity to make this face when you sitting there letting that white man pee on you. Mm, I know the ancestors are disappointed in you. Oh, baby, I know where you was at when slavery was going on, honey, in the house letting master pee on you. You letting that broke white man pee on you, girl. You should but that's y'all girl though Candace y'all girl y'all go up for Candace that's y'all girl okay that's y'all girl now, they start talking about eating ass Candace got her face scrunched up they back in Robin room Candace is like can I wear your shoes she's trying to be good girlfriends of Robin and Robin the confessional like girl you was dragging me two weeks ago you've been dragging me on social media like what is up Giselle wasn't in there um Candace is like, we need to talk in the morning. She's like, Robin's been a big sister to me. Um, and I just don't know where our relationship has gone. Uh, oh, I've got to show the picture of Robin raising her hand about her swallowing. And Candace smiling about getting peed on. Maybe these girls, maybe. <laughs> maybe. A broke white man with a brown pen that you letting pee on you. <laughs> I could never. I would never. He ain't got no money either. Oh, baby, I would never. The ladies are all in the Ashley room the next day. And um, Ashley want to paint vaginas. Ashley just wanted the girl to paint vaginas and have a good time. Candace wants to know what's going on with Rob and why Roberto hasn't shared uh, with the group on what's going on. And Robin says, I experienced... It says, what I experienced, I share with people who reach out to me. Um, Candace was like, you know, um, I sent you a text message pretty much saying, you know, sorry what you're going through. And uh, I reached out to you, you ignored me, baby. Robin looked at her and said, are you serious? Let me tell y'all something. I know me don't agree with this ninja, but for the first time, I was in agreement with Roberto. I was like, honey, are you serious, girl? Are you serious? Seriously? Mm. So, um, you she was like, you trash me on social media excessively. Um, you don't know what I've gone through. I've gone through torture. Here go Candace. So have I. Karen is telling Robin, you need to be accountable. Robin stands up and said, I'm accountable. Here I am. Karen is like, you lied the entire year. Seems like you can... Um, You, you lied the entire year. And then um, Robin, in the cafe, Robin then says, you know, I um, I don't read his DMs. Um, she didn't read the DMs. And Candace said, was there no point where you wanted to see what was going on? And she is like, Juan deletes everything out of his phone, including his messages. I just, I just. Robin, Robin. God, just. God, just. They in the car talking about Robin's situation, and Wendy, Wendy, and I said the same thing. Baby, I don't give a damn. I don't care. I don't want to know what's going on. She ain't leaving. He ain't leaving. I don't give a damn. She been putting up with this since they've been 15, 16 years old, baby. Ain't nothing going to change now. Why would they change their own reality TV getting the check? I don't give a damn about Roberto or Juanita and what they going through. I just want them two ninjas to raise them kids. I want them boys to be masking like their parents, and I just want them to move on. So let's just move on. So the ladies all get out to lunch, and um, they all get out to lunch, and they uh, before mind you, when Robin was doing all this, baby, Karen had this bonnet on and this hat on, and was reading Robin from Filth and the goddamn confessional. I was hollering. So 
they all get out to um they all get out to like they go some girls go eat some girls go wine uh whiskey tasting and then some girls go out boot shopping so they're in a the car oh, i already said that part so they sitting down they don't know why the, the whiskey tasting baby the whiskey tasting got so much goddamn whiskey in it baby the girl's gonna be drunk so they sitting down there and baby this bird flies up and sits on the damn <laughs> on a damn fence and wendy was like y'all know how i feel about birds i don't like birds baby and then mia dumb ass <laughs> Gonna say, Wendy, is that your mama? Baby. <laughs> Baby, that shit was funny to me. Oh, that was funny. But every time I think about me, I had the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> with your broke ass. That's what I think about Mia. But anyway, I thought Mia ate that with that one. And Wendy's like, it's that's not funny. Let's not do that. Let's not talk about the mamas. And Mia goes on and says, um, we do need to quit. Mia was like, you're right. It was a joke. Um, and then she goes on to proceed to talk about mamas. So Wendy was like, Mia was like, we need to clear up the conversation. Um, and she said the conversation, she said we don't need to clear anything up. The conversation has been triggering to her based on how she grew up. She grew up, uh, she starts getting emotional. She talks about NECA and um, oh, I'm sorry, then NECA starts talking about buying Titan over at lunch with NECA. She's talking about um oh child wait a, wait a minute hold on y'all she start out because i skipped the whole scene she start wendy starts getting emotional at lunch and she's talking about like how she was raised by a single parent and how the conversation triggered her here's the thing wendy the girls don't fear you so because the girls don't fear you they're going to continue to read you and if the girls were scared of you or feared you they wouldn't talk about your mama so it is what it is with that situation the girls wouldn't talk about your mama but you let them get away with it yep 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 and then you still sitting across from somebody that threw a damn drink in your face so i ain't got no hope for me so they all are at lunch they all meet up for lunch and NECA talks about, you know, her marriage and buying titles or getting titles or whatever with her and her husband. How they get, she didn't really care for her wedding here, so she can't wait for the wedding in Nigeria. Wendy is so bothered every time this girl talks, she can't even hide that she's not bothered by this girl. So, yeah. So then um, they start talking about <laughs> Karen and Mia that bought their blue checks. It was a funny scene. Baby Karen was like, girl, I need to call Apple Pay up, Apple Pay up in the morning. Um, well, when you, when you get the number to Apple Pay, Karen, you call me because Apple Pay love to take something out when you least expecting it. The damn 12 99 they be taking out. Then they went up on their family parties from, from 20, what, from 21 to 25? Don't y'all got enough of our damn money? Um, so then, uh, they questioned Ashley about her marriage and Ashley was like, you know, um, I want the, the want the divorce to happen soon. I want the kids, you know, throughout the weekend. Michael can get them every other weekend. And she was like, she just couldn't imagine being with her kids for a whole seven days. Then they, um, so they questioned, like, if she ever really going to get a divorce. And then Candace gets her ass in the confessional and has the nerve to say, girl, you getting a divorce? Tell my Michael picked you up off the street and put you where you need to be at. Just, girl, just get put your Nikes on and just run. And everybody online was like, oh, Candace is reading her. Candace got this. But aren't or isn't or is or aren't Candace and Michael the same? Because didn't Candace pick up a white man that she is like pee on her off the streets and put him up in the lap of luxury? Because he ain't got no job. So what makes Candace and Michael different outside of touching on people? Mm-hmm. 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 So Mia then says, well, what's going on with the lawsuit? I said, oh, she's shaking the table. So then um, Candace is like, I'm not going to talk about this with this group. Robin says, what can we talk about? You know, what can we talk about? Candace says, let's not be dense. Robin said, excuse me. Candace said, let's not be dense. This is the legal matter, but kind of what you went against when you talk about your legal situation with your husband. Wendy then jumps in and she's like, yes, yeah, a Title IX lawsuit. And she starts breaking down what a Title IX lawsuit is. Wendy got all this information, but you don't know how you know NECA. Okay. 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 
Okay. Okay. Okay. You got all this information about Title IX and this and that, but you don't know how you know NECA. All right, Wendy. Okay, Wendy. So then um, in the confessional, Candace is going to say, I don't get why I can't, why Robin has all this energy towards me, I, but I'm just going to let her be in her feelings. So, Candace, do you want to be friends with her or do you not want to be friends with her? Because every time I turn around, one minute you cry and saying, oh, I need to be friends with Robin. Here, Robin, switch with me. And then in the next scene, you're saying, um, Robin is dead. She's a dummy. Why cheating on her? Like, what? which, which one is it? Which one is it? Because maybe you're getting on my nerves with both of them. So then we all in the car and... Uh, Candace and Wendy and Robin. Robin starts to break down, crying, saying, I haven't done nothing to you all. You all want to make me the victim so bad, to make me the enemy so bad. Then Candace starts crying. Robin, mama, you have been nasty to them girls. Just like they've been nasty to you, you've been nasty to them. You sit up there with that water ankle heifer of yours that you call the bestie, and you try to read them girls and jump all in their business. So, yes, you are nasty to them just like they are nasty to you. And that is the end of the episode. Um, get to the scene where Robin's sitting on the curb looking like Monica, and get to the scene where Ashley, in my opinion, reads Candace for Phil, and that's going to be that. Anyway, y'all, I'm ready for them to get up out of Texas. I'm actually ready for the season to be over because the girls ain't giving what I thought they was going to give, but, you know, we still got, I don't know how many episodes left. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend. Come on over to the channel and have a good week. I will talk to everybody later. Bye.